Imagine training a dog. You can't tell it exactly how to sit, but you can reward it with treats when it gets closer. Q Learning works similarly, teaching an AI agent through trial and error to make the best decisions in an environment by rewarding desirable behaviors. At its core, Q Learning uses a Q table, a simple lookup table where each row represents a state, like the dog being in a standing position, and each column represents a possible action, such as sit, or stay, or roll over. The Q table values represent the expected quality or reward of taking that action in that state. Initially, the Q table starts with arbitrary values, often zeros. The agent then explores the environment, taking actions and observing the outcomes. Think of the dog trying different commands. After each action, the agent receives a reward or penalty, which updates the corresponding Q value in the table. The update rule is key. It's based on the Bellman equation, which balances immediate reward with future expected rewards. Specifically, the Q value for a state action pair is updated by adding a fraction of the difference between the received reward plus the maximum possible Q value from the next state and the current Q value. It's like telling the dog, good, but you could have sat straighter for an even better treat. Let's break down the update equation in Q learning. It includes a learning rate, which determines how much new information overrides old information. A high learning rate means the agent quickly adapts to recent experiences, while a low rate makes learning more stable. There's also a discount factor, determining how much future rewards influence current decisions. A high discount factor makes the agent value long-term rewards. Exploration versus exploitation is crucial. The agent needs to explore new actions to discover better strategies. However, it also needs to exploit its current knowledge to maximize rewards. A common strategy is epsilon greedy, where the agent chooses the best known action most of the time, but randomly explores other actions with a small probability, like sometimes trying a new trick even if sit usually gets a treat. Consider a simple game such as getting a robot to navigate a maze. The robot starts with no knowledge of the maze. Through cue learning, it tries different paths, receiving rewards for getting closer to the exit and penalties for hitting walls. Over time, the cue table learns the optimal path, guiding the robot to efficiently solve the maze. Cue learning is model-free, meaning it doesn't need a map of the environment beforehand. It learns directly from experience, making it versatile for problems where the environment is complex or unknown. Think of it like learning to ride a bike, you don't need to understand the physics, just practice and adjust based on what works. Q learning's ability to learn optimal strategies through interaction makes it useful in robotics, game AI, and resource management. It's a powerful technique for teaching machines to make intelligent decisions in complex environments without explicit programming. It's a foundational concept in reinforcement learning, paving the way for more advanced algorithms. Q learning empowers machines to learn through experience, adapting to new situations and optimizing their actions for maximum reward. If you found this explanation insightful, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more deep dives into the world of artificial intelligence.